Are we determined? Yes. I can, we, think... can we detach what we do from our brain and actually mind the gap with the brain and emotion? Well, I think, no, we can't detach what we do from our brain, but I also think we don't have any idea what the brain is doing, so it doesn't matter. Like, what'll happen over the next 100 years is that we'll figure out, maybe, the relationship between the brain and, the, and consciousness, and that'll involve some transformation of our idea of matter. And when we make all those adjustments, the, the paradoxical relationship between what we think of as matter and what we think of as spirit will disappear. Now, we have no idea how that's going to occur, and maybe it won't occur. But yes, we're obviously dependent on our embodiment. I don't think that means we're determined, partly because the universe isn't deterministic, and it isn't clear how a deterministic system could get you through the next unexpected thing. It doesn't make sense to me. Determinism only works when what worked in the past will work again in the future. Well, that doesn't work for people, so. But I mean, as you know, you can argue about that forever, and so I, I don't argue about that. I just know that it seems to me, like it seems to most people, that you can choose between paths. Now, how you choose that, well, that's partly why I introduced this Jungian idea of the self. It's that you're very complicated. You've been around for th three billion years. You're the, you're the survivor of an unbroken string of successful life that's three billion years old. And all of that's built into your body. We have no idea what that means. I really, like one, one of the best examples of that is not so much the relationship between thought and action, which is somewhat mysterious, but the fact that we're aware. No one knows what that means. And when I say no one knows what that means, I mean no one knows what that means even a little bit. We haven't cracked that at all. So tied up in that mystery of conscious and self-conscious awareness is the mystery of what appears to be something like free will. But we're no better than like cavemen when it comes to that question, regardless of, I've read uh, what's his name's theories of quantum con computation and consciousness. I think it's rubbish. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm serious. Like I read it, I thought, okay, the brain's a quantum computer and white matter's involved in that. What the hell does that mean? I don't know what that means. Of course it's a quantum machine. You exist at a quantum level. That doesn't explain anything. It doesn't help at all. So, and that's maybe, that's hammer off, I guess. That's supposed to be the most sophisticated theory. It's like, it's not a theory, it's nothing. So. <laughs> if someone wants to explain how that theory actually explains something to me, and they can do it, I would be very grateful. But I read those damn papers, and usually when I read something, if there's something there, I can figure it out. And I've read them multiple times, and I can't figure anything of them out. And that might be because I'm stupid, but generally that's not the case. So. 